by a stroma of fibrous tissue, fat, and linear densities, which are the Cooper's ligaments, the blood. This, this is the axillary tail of Spence, and it's important to remember, particularly when we do surgery for risk reduction in BRCA carriers. So we have seen carcinomas occurring in the axillary tail of Spence as well. You have an anatomical landmark to say which is the upper and which is the lower quadrant. And, and when you do an ultrasound, again you see the same layering. So you see the breast involutes from inside to outside and then on a CC view, it involutes from below upwards. Breast is, there is more fibroglycan, like I said, more proliferative component in the early reproductive age group. So when you do a mammogram in a younger age group, it is all white. This does not change with age. The extremely dense continue to be extremely dense even when she's 80. So this is not only uh, glandular tissue, it's the fibrous component that makes the breast dense. And uh, so these are all some abnormal lymph nodes in order to spread. So some names are given. With a name you'll never forget when you see. So here there is on the periphery of the node. And always ask for the previous films and compare it with the previous film. A developing finding developing asymmetry a developing lesion could be significant